Also pretty interested. He it was uh Oh I'm sure. Well we'll we'll talk about that once I get this set up. This let's see. I put this back here. Oh uh, well we can oh can you bring up the again? Oh this is this is real uh This is as high tech as it gets. Alright, we're gonna give it some water. I can remember how exactly I looked at the thing. Like it's probably pretty crooked. That's probably pretty straight. Oh, this is blocking me. No, oh, we can move that. Once we get. These don't really come in handy that often. Anyway. Sure, we're live. Pretty sure we're live. I don't think we are. <laughs> I think fucked it up. I can hit end. It says oh. zero viewers. Oh yeah, those are pretty heavy. Okay. It should be mostly focused on me or you. Probably you because you're better at this. Let's see. I gotta even say the camera needs to go over here. <laughs> Less on the frame, the better. Glass table doesn't help a whole lot. Your paint. It's the paint cast. Uh, let's see. We'll get that in a second and see how that looks. You can just move the paint. I can't see it. I guess I'm just focused on right here. You can bring your phone over here so you can see a little, a little better. I'm half blind. Yeah, you can see that right. It paints. So it's all right here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, this is a mess, but we are our piece. Yeah, we kind of straighten it. No, that's good. I'll fix it in post. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I just realized something. What's I that? regret buying a Tesla. Why? Because when it's not actually electric, no shit even special about it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's like I would. I would just keep it as. I would keep that one as a Tesla. I would say Tesla on the side, or just like keep it on, like put it on a shelf. I don't know if I would even use that. I know. I just talked about how I shouldn't do that <laughs> to the cars. That's why I'm not doing it. That's why I'm telling you to do it. That's why I won't buy any Hondas or Nissans or anything. Because I would want to keep them on the shelf. What if this I, is a Nissan Tesla? What if I figure out a way to put little solar panels on top of it? That would be great. 
Um, this doesn't make any sense in the apocalypse. Right. I would take what's really black and shiny. Put I would put that over something over a plate of yeah. something very very black and shiny, like yeah. super high gloss like this for the camera. Isn't it blue? Solar panels? Yeah, oh, maybe blue. they are blue. <laughs> yeah. Well, then where's the black coming from? I don't know. I thought they were black. Uh, you can take some of this stuff because this is what this is. Okay. Um, this is called black magic. I don't know if it's in frame, but this is black magic. I learned this trick from a guy. Um, I think it's black magic. Painted black. Um, the little thing. Yeah. Put the little things over it. Yes. That's yes. All right. I'm doing the Tesla first. <laughs> We're doing the Tesla first. Um, yeah, I would make some of this. With some black, I don't know why that's so like, like glittery looking. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just mm -hmm. the texture. Um, okay. Use these. These are better. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, cutting popsicle sticks is surprisingly a tricky thing. Um. By the way, do you introduce yourselves on these? These. These? You have we done these before? I don't know. <laughs> it's a live I don't do I don't know I barely know what Twitch is. I mean you do it on Facebook. Alright. So this is not the uh Lark Brothers weekly video. I, I need this. <laughs> um Don't let's... play with this shit, kids. Yeah, these are <laughs> not... shit kids. All right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do? I thought I was gonna sit here and read the rules and go over them and nope. try to start learning it. That's not what I'm gonna do. I'm We're gonna, gonna do the, the best part first. All right, yeah, I've been doing this for like a week now. But let's. All right. So I've got this. What you've got your Tesla. I've got a Datsun 620. Do you have a marker of some kind? Um. Yes. Of all. Okay. I was gonna say of all the shit on this table. So what I'm doing to this Datsun 620 um, is the decals on the side. I forget what they call it. Tempos, I think they call them. Uh, I'm taking those off. I'm dip, I've dipped the Q-tip in fingernail polish remover. 100% uh, acetone fingernail polish remover. And he's shaking the shit out of the camera, too. Um, oh, yeah, that's going to be a thing that happens. Yeah. I, I'm going to try not to. Are you sure this is a good way to cut these? Yeah, it's it's tricky. Yay! Go, if you take it farther to the back. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, so I'm best in the realm. And I am Balmusa. Of the Lark Brothers fame. Of, yep, of the Lark Brothers. Ah, I got it! Uh, you may have seen me at an Amp Guard event. Um, <laughs> Famous. <laughs> I'm going to need to like, sand this down. Um, do I? Have, I surprisingly don't. Wait, How? did I bring it out here? How have you never had some? I know. Right? I've done all this work, and I haven't really oh, sanded yeah, see, anything. Yeah, that worked. And these are on here really well. There we go. Now they're coming off. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think if I have like. I wish they were slightly thinner though. Oh, you know what? Actually, you know what the best material I've used yet has no, been? I don't know shit about this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, got, I got a new wallet. I don't know if you've seen it. Hold on, have you seen my new wallet? Is it one of them fucking IR blocking? No. That's pretty rad. That's a good guitar. The number 94? The number 94 of the 150? Yeah. That's awesome. Um... But the little the thing that, that hung that on the on the shelf, that little piece of plastic has been the best material I've ever worked with. Just like the the actual like the little plastic tab, okay, the yeah. thing that says Bio World on it or whatever. Um, let me see if I have a piece of that or something similar. Piece of that. Piece of that ass. Oh, I got you. I I I have exactly what you need. This is how we're going to do the solar panel. Take a piece of this, paint it black. Okay. Oh, almost. Oh, okay. Check, check on the child. <laughs> check on the child. We're going to use some type of plastic. Apparently. Evidently. Plastic. Whoop. The world. Oh, wait. 
great smells chicken. I'm Ew. waiting. I've been waiting. Even better idea. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna do. Every time it gets better. All right, we're gonna take uh, a piece of that. Um, before we cut it, we're gonna take regular black paint. And take some regular black paint, and you're gonna put it on. Show me three of blue. That's blue. Okay. <laughs> There's gonna be a dark blue, and it's a dark blue though, right? Yeah. My colors are semi limited. I wish there was a database where you just find this information. I know, right? I wish you really. I wish you could just call out. What the out. hell is your Alexa? I was just about to say, I wish you could just call out. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's, actually, I found it. It's in my room. I have. I still haven't plugged it in. It would have been fun to use on the stream. <laughs> uh, here we go. I'll mix this. Okay, Google. You see, mine doesn't talk to me. Mine's an asshole. Okay, Google. Oh. What color are solar panels? <laughs> what color are solar panels? Oh, you don't want to listen to me anymore? Okay, Google. That's way too much for us. What color are so solar panels? Why can't I say the word solar panels? I don't know. Why are solar panels blue? There we go. It's anti reflective. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. There's a bunch of science shit I'm not going to read. I don't know. I'm interested. <laughs> All right. So I need to cut a tiny bit of, this is going to be harder to cut than the fucking. What? No, it's not. That's not super thin. And you can use regular, those regular shears on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kitchen shears. Yeah. That's what you use them for, the kitchen. Yeah. We're in the kitchen. That's fair. So I'm best in the realm. This is Bamusa. What about the future villains? I don't do this type of, this is way out of my comfort zone. This is what I do for life. <laughs> um, I was going to say, now i got to get you to play video games, but I guess you've already done that. Yeah, I, I'm playing Mad Max at the moment. Well, you've also streamed on this channel. Yeah, I mean, if you can call it. I'm going to turn on the fan. It's pretty quiet, so. Okay. Oh, we don't need those. We need those. We don't need the flame lights, though. Flame lights? Yeah, <laughs> these two are flame lights. What does that mean? Hold on. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're flame lights. Flame lights. Why is that a thing? Halloween. Yes, that's there from last Halloween. <laughs> it's September. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is before you cut it to the size you want. Okay. Um, what do you think I'm doing right now? We're going to take a piece of this. This is um, aluminum screen illuminati screen and we're going to take um cut a piece a little bigger than what you actually want you can use the kitchen chairs for that too um and then we're going to super uh -huh. i don't know if it's going to work the way i think anyway we're going to super glue that to the plastic using as little super glue as we can Okay. And then after that, then we're going to paint on the side you glue it to, we're going to paint with the dark blue, and then you're flip it over, so you're going to have the reflective clear plastic on top, and then the screen, and then the paint. Okay. If that makes sense. We will once I do it. Yeah. You, this you, is why you, I'm bad at these things. So what am I doing first? Uh, first, you're cutting a piece of the mesh about the size you want it, but a little bigger to have some working room. And I am still removing what I believe are called tempos. Tempos? I think that's what they call these. Is that a type of car? Uh, maybe. We're moving all the cars that are type in the game? I have no idea about cars. I have no idea about... I knew I was going to do one big piece. I was just going to do a bunch of little panels. Okay, one big one works too. Yeah. Okay, now what? Um, now use very, very carefully, use this super glue 
and glue around like the edges. Actually, I would go ahead and put the mesh on the plastic. Yeah. And then just do a couple drops of super glue here and there. Once again, I'm just using 100% acetone fingernail polish remover on a Q-tip to remove these. So I'm doing the edge to touch this. Yeah, and maybe like a, like a if you can get like a light bead going, like go through the middle or something. Should I cut this to size first though? Um, I don't think so. No, I don't do it quite yet. And I mean, what I'm thinking is I would paint this, then glue it. You'll see. And then cut it to size. You'll see. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> but if, if I'm right, it's going to be like magic. Okay. And then I'm going to have to do it on so some point. So I'm gluing this on. Yes. Just like this. Just like that. On the edges. On the edges. But that glue does come out pretty quick. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to ruin your table. Yeah, the good thing about working on a glass table is, like, with hot glue and stuff, it peels right off. Super mm -hmm. glue, not always the case. Uh, I think I'm getting an idea. I will be so bad at this. I'm going to have to go find some sandpaper. Uh, which, actually, I need to find some sandpaper. I told Drifa I would bring her some sandpaper. Did at you call me? One of our LARPers, she needed some sandpaper for a walking stick she was working on. I think I'm going to leave this color, this color. It's retracting! Wait, is it on there though? Yeah. Where's the black? It's, oh Jesus. It's, oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. What the hell did I do with it? Oh god, it's clear. It disappeared. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. Is this it? All right, here. Put this, like, put this down, and then put the mesh on, then put the glue over both of them. All right, it says dots on the back. Cool. Well, damn, that glue's fast. Yeah, super glue is pretty quick, especially on plastic. Because the way super glue works, um, I wish I knew how to pronounce the proper name of it. Cyanoacrylate, I think it is. Um, but the way that works is it actually melts plastics together. Oh, God. Yeah, it, it, that's how super glue works. I don't know how it works when it works on metal and stuff. That's why it doesn't work that well on metal. That's why it works best for plastics. But it, from what I understand, it physically melts the plastic so it sticks together. It just melt my thumb? And it will stick your <laughs> skin to, to itself. But if you do get if you do get it on your hands, acetone will take it off. Okay. Alright, the next thing I'm doing to mine is I'm just doing a little bit of acetone on the wheels. Because what this will do is it will take down that shine of the brand new plastic and make it more of a you know a matte finish. I think that's what I need to do with this guy. Uh, How would I remove these designs? Uh, yeah, if they're if they're just like printed on, yeah, uh, you can do what I'm doing with the acetone and okay. the Q-tip. We need more. I've got one more right there. If we need more, I've got. Um, but you can yeah. see. You have like a little bowl of acetone. Uh, actually, if you reach behind you, there's the bottom of a soda can, and apparently that's really good for. Is there? Oh. Yeah, it's really, really small. Thank you. Also really sharp. Nope. I, I rounded the corners. Of course you did. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, oh, drop a little in here. It will evaporate pretty quick. Uh, I found that out specifically today at work. Because <laughs> I, I was using Goof Off. Goof Off is also is acid off the A little bit. That happens sometimes. Oh, my God. It came right off. Yeah, right? It's like magic. See, I spilled some over here, and it's gone. It's... Well, it has a black spot on my finger. Evaporates really quick. Um, 
Yeah, this is like way out of my wheelhouse, which is pretty cool. Let's see, what do I want to do? Do you, oh, do not get it on any plastic, like any windshields or anything you want to stay right. shiny and clear. I don't think this has any shiny and clear on it. Because I think I got a little bit right there in that corner. Okay. Let's see if, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, right there in that corner, bottom corner. I think I got a little drop of it. But what we're doing to these cars, that's fine. Yep, we are painting these for gas lamps. Yes. Not only for Sunday. Yes. <laughs> no, just the uh, um, just the title. The Gaslands. Neither one of us has gotten to really play it yet. Um, but it's a post-apocalyptic vehicle vehicular combat game where you take your Matchbox cars, your Hot Wheels cars, you customize them if you want. And uh, there's a rule book that tells you what to do with them next. Eat them. Mm, I don't think that's in there. No. Just a guess. But what I'm going to go ahead and do now. I hate to repeat things that I've done on past projects. I'm going to do it on video. But I'm doing it here. I'm doing gunshots on the windshield, some bullet holes. So normally I would use a drill, but I left my drill at work. And the one I have here is just too much of a pain. You can buy a gun at the flea market tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, That'll do it. All right. Well, yeah, we are going to go to the flea market tomorrow. Now the reason I'm going is because Gaslands has opened up an entire another world for me. All this post-apocalyptic stuff. Oh, yeah. I've found this game while looking at some Dungeons and Dragons terrain tutorials. I was trying. I was just trying to learn how to build a tavern. All I wanted to do was build a tavern. Or whatever I was looking at, <laughs> just because I like to watch people make things. That's... And I got forced into this game. And I, I came across a couple Gasland tutorials where they were showing how they painted their cars and all the other things they've done to them. Added guns, all the all that fun stuff. Now um, that I've done this, I wish I would have just lightly gone over the designs. Uh oh, yeah. Well, you'll know for yeah. next time. Yeah. Um. But then I was like, okay, this post-apocalyptic thing is cool. Let me. Uh, I'm probably gonna play this. So I looked into Gaslands more, and I was super excited about a tabletop like war game that you can play with super cheap miniatures like Hot Wheels cars it's like Warhammer is very expensive all the other ones are very expensive you never played Warhammer right? I watched Ed and Wes play yeah it's expensive <laughs> it's yeah, it's cool That's a, that actually kind of looks cool like that like it's been worn away. Yeah. Um, I don't, did you use mine? Huh? It's gone. Yeah. You you fuck. Goes quick. Did you use it though? No. Fuck the bottom. And uh, so yeah, Warhammer. It could cost you up to like thirty bucks for a single twenty-eight millimeter figure. You got more Q-tips? Uh, I can go grab some. So I have a. Absorbed a lot of paint with these. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need more of that. Yep, let me go grab some more Q-tips. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need more of that. I think it evaporates quick, it spilled some. <laughs> yeah, I spilled some on some of the goof off on the table at work today. On purpose, I was trying to clean the table. I'll get the glue off my finger. <laughs> uh, doorbell rang. By the time I came back, it was gone. I was like, wait a minute. And it was a lot. Because I had some adhesive on the table I was trying to clean off. Anyway. 
super cheap war game that you can do all kinds of custom stuff for, which is what I really enjoy. I know. I'm doing through. this kind of thing. I like doing this kind of thing in video games. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what I what I've done. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, so I put some bullet holes and cracks in the windshield. Is that showing up well on there? It probably hasn't popped uh, up just yet. There it goes. Pull back a little bit. Hopefully that'll be good enough. There, there it is. Oh, you know where we should have shared this video to? Mm. The Gaslands Facebook page. Let's do it. My phone, we're filming with my phone. I don't know if not doing all of it either just looks like I'm using a shitty old Hot Wheel or... <laughs> <laughs> Which, that works too. I think all of this is cut off because I'm going to repaint. I don't like this green. Are you looking for? Alright. So your, your solar panel should be dry. Oh, yeah. Now let's take... Uh, and take this brush and just coat the whole thing in that paint. Hopefully that paint didn't dry out too much. Okay, guys. Then just paint my ear? Yeah. Like a rainy table? No, the acrylic paint should peel right off. Don't we want the, the mesh to stay silver? Yep, just, you'll see. All right. And, and kind of paint lightly. Do I want to wet this? Um, no. Okay. Uh, but... Am I out of paper towel? I think I'm out of paper towel. It's not sticking to the plastic. Um, yeah, it's probably going to have a hard time with that. Well, maybe I can get it up here. Step out to the garage for just a second. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a lot of patience. It does. Better look fucking awesome. I'm not sure what I want to do with the back windshield just yet. And usually, I would drill out those rivets so I can take it completely apart and do the interior and everything else separately. Take out the windshield. Usually, that's just kind of clamped in. Now the cheap Dollar Tree ones, they actually have the windshields are, from what I can tell, are usually they usually have a part that comes down over the axle to keep the wheels in place. So that was uh, the one I called Snake Eyes was a bitch. Snake Eyes is a bitch. Uh, all right. So what I will do, what I'm gonna do next. My Dotson 620 or whatever it's called. And take some sandpaper. Looks like it's 80 grit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit all the edges, all the raised edges, all the way around. And hopefully if it works out, you know, even back here where it says Dotson. Show you what it's gonna look like. Ooh, show us Uncle Bob Musa. Let me have this room up a little more solid. I 
I might be too faint to tell on the camera. But what I'm doing is I'm just remove, literally removing the paint and making it look worn around the edges. Wait, maybe get a little closer. Hopefully you can see the, the bare metal showing through underneath the paint. You should uh, get a camera, take pictures. That's not a bad idea either. I uh, should have brought your memory card. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily I have lots of them. Okay, my goal is I'm trying to get the paint in between these holes, yeah? Uh, yes. I've mostly done that. Okay, and now if I, if I was correct, Uh-huh. When you turn it over, the other side should look like a solar panel. No. Can't see the mesh anymore once you paint it. Well. <laughs> well, what's wrong then? We're doing it my way. Oh, let me see the... Uh, Fuck off, we're doing it my way. Okay, I'm just going to say maybe if... I'm going to try to do one on that. Corner up there. Don't blame this on me. You fucked up. See. Mm. Now you have fucked up. I don't know. Yep. Nope. I'm wrong. Show the camera. Show the camera. You're you're wrong. Yes. Right there. I was hoping that you'd still be able to see the mesh through the paint. That's not the case. Nope. So, let me show you how this is done. All right, you show me how this is done. I'm a master crafter. <laughs> I have so many hours in Minecraft. Uh, I just need to dump this in paint. <laughs> yes. I could use huh? I could be awaiting your brush. Oh, I was just cleaning it off. Oh, that's my brush. Okay. Where is this paint? What paint? Yes, the blue paint. Blue paint. Let me use this one right here. You need a more broad brush. Or am I looking at the brushes? Am I crazy? Uh, let me go grab the a thing of brushes. That's that'll work. I need a lot more of that though. I think. Um, that with some more black. Okay. Show you this big one. Oh, there's brushes. Yeah. Let me go grab uh, you another set, though. Oh, you don't need me to use these? Yeah, those are fancy. Yeah, those are my, my nicer brushes. I'll get you some uh, remedial brushes. Oh, I see. <laughs> I get the shit. Yeah, I use these for the longest time. I still use these from time to time. What? I just remember I have some cool paint if I remember where it's at. So basically you don't have cool paint. No, I might have cool paint. <laughs> so basically you don't have cool paint. It's translucent green. That would be cool. Which means it's it sprays on. Yeah, what did you use that for? I'm going to use it for the Gundams. Yeah, I remember that. But it would look like this. It would look like Mountain Dew. Like if you were to spray it. Mountain Dew? Yep. Do I need acetone to get this paint out? No. No? No. Oh, is there paint in that one? It looks like it. Just use it. Oh, alright. Some of those I'm not using pretty, any of these. Some of those are pretty trashed. And I, uh, I don't know if acetone would clean them up or not. I thought it did. Uh, you know what? On the trash one, go ahead and try. I mean, because they're already trashed. I don't remember which one I had. I swear there's a way to get paint out of brushes. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. Nice. 
See, I told you, Master Crafter. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't turn my shit the wrong color. No, that would be bad. <laughs> I mean, if you drink it, it might. Yeah. I lost the beat for a second again. <laughs> See this? This is better to me. Because I don't have to worry about my $50 fucking Warhammer set. That yes. <laughs> like, ah, my room in the car. And you just go buy another one? Yeah, they're less than a dollar at Walmart. I'm sure I'm shaking the camera right now. Well, I'm shaking it in the other direction. All right, so we should balance <laughs> That's how that works. Out. I'm just going to take the... Dry. Dry. Uh, depends on how thick you put it on. Uh, that should. Fan should also help with that. Yeah, the fan's gonna help for sure. Okay. And next, I don't know what to do with this guy. I have to show you both. Another goddamn electric car. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have two electric cars in the apocalypse? I don't know. <laughs> Did, don't didn't I pay attention to anything? <laughs> Well, it wasn't the apocalypse. <laughs> I mean, if it's a Chevy Volt, it kind of looks. It says Volt on the side. It also it's says Sarah. So <laughs> if you look on the bottom, it usually tells you what type of car it is. Super Volt. Was that a Chevy Volt? But it's a Volt. It might not be an actual Chevy Volt. It could just be a like Hot Wheels. We're gonna special. We're gonna lose this paint. I don't like this. Uh, what is that? You're into that racing, dirt racing thing. Don't you and Lance really into the whole... Oh, Dakar Rally? Yes! I yeah, like actually, it. that's... I like that style. <laughs> oh, that's that's more of just rally style. Oh, okay. The Dakar Rally is actually where I started customizing Hot Wheels cars. We used to make, build, like, racks on the back and put extra... Racks on the racks on the racks? Yep. Put extra like tires and fuel cans and stuff on them, and make little mesh nets. And I bet you they have like little barrels we can buy. Oh yeah, someone three D prints them. I promise. The three D printing stuff's just getting on my nerves right now. You need though. to get a three D printer. I need one. Hey, I've had lots of people just because I've been to technology ask me if I'm gonna get a three D printer. My answer is always the same. Nah, my buddy Brian will buy one. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just waiting. I will. I'm, I'm sure I'll get one soon enough. I want one. They have um, special 3D stuff that's for like for kids. Like it's some kind of vegetable shit. So if they chew on it, it doesn't hurt them. Wait, what? It's like stuff you can print with? Yeah. Oh, okay. Some kind of vegetable, made from like vegetable something. I'm talking on my ass. Okay. <laughs> it's safe for kids, basically. All right. Uh, keep the cap on the nail polish remover because it will evaporate from the. Oh, you should have told me it evaporated. From the bottle too. <laughs> I kind of want to leave this, here. this thing on the side, and just because I don't know. I want to do something more to it. You were, okay. I know you were talking about a sticker, but something you can do instead of a sticker, like going out and get a stick and, sticker paper and all that, is this stuff right here. This stuff is like magic. This is the Mod Podge stuff. Well, you, this is kind of like a glue and a... That's what the black magic is, too. It's just Mod Podge with black paint. It's like glue and a sealer and a, everything in one. So what you can do is like put glue, put the Mod Podge down... Print out the, your picture, stick it to that. You have a printer, don't you? I have a black and white printer. I want to put the FTV logo on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could do that. Print it out, put some Mod Podge down, stick it to it while it's still wet, and then once it dries, put another layer on top to seal it. And put it that's basically like a sticker. Have you ever seen the people who do um, like comic book coffee tables? Yeah, I think so. That's what they do. They take... Mod Podge or something like it, 
coat the whole thing in it, stick stuff to it, and then seal it with that. Hmm. See, this is the effect I'm going for with the truck right now. Wearing away. Okay. Paint. So you can wear this paint away even. Oh, you're using sandpaper. Yeah, I'm sanding it. Yeah. Because some parts it's actually pretty thick, not on like the door and the body part, but on the edges, I think it's pretty thin. Like one or two swipes will really just take it off. And you just keep working on it, working at it. You know a song that got stuck in my head? What's that? After days. Diseases of Yore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is that? That chorus from. Maybe you got time. Maybe you got this. Or maybe you got this. I don't think it's from anything. Really? Yeah, I think it's, it's just so catchy. Super catchy. It's just for all that being the man. I like randomly start listening to a lot of nerdcore. <laughs> yes. I mean, like, Schaefer and Warrock are regularly in my rotation. Right. And like a few weeks ago, I started listening to a lot of Empty Chris. Yeah, I did that too. You know, his uh, his tenth anniversary of uh, Empty Chris is Dead is coming up. Which one is Empty Chris is Dead? Uh, well, it's got Empty Chris is Dead on it. So <laughs> that's why I don't listen to it. I guess. Oh, I love that. I love that song too. I, I mostly Double O Six is my favorite song. Ah, the Devil the, is epic as hell. Yeah, and I think there's two versions of Neville. And there's two versions of 006 as well. Okay. Um, I like them both. I know there's two versions. Well, actually, I know there's a bunch of versions of each of them. But, like, he is officially released. There's two versions of each of those. Okay. Yeah, him, Adam Warrock and Schaefer are my regular rotation of music. If you listen to Nerdcore and you don't listen to Adam Warrock, I don't know how you got away from him. He put out. He puts. I didn't think he still puts out music. He's oh, just so oh, so much. He's just like he was like, hey, we're gonna put out a Firefly album. All right, I'm gonna yeah. put out a wrestling album. All right. Did he do a wrestling <laughs> one? Yeah. Have you not heard the Daniel Bryan and CM Punk songs? No. Oh shit, they're amazing. I know uh, Mega Ran did his album. Oh, I don't even give a fuck. They're not gonna flag this. <laughs> I've, I think I've gotten okay to use their uh, music and stuff before, so should be fine. You know, turn down a bit. And he is uh, definitely one of the best out there. Did we see him? Yeah, we saw him in concert. We're tribe one. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did we? Yeah, it was Adam and tribe one. I have a, I have a poster signed by him. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of a different tribe one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Different tribe one show. Who was that that show? Tribe one? The Shaper? Right? Yeah. Yeah. That was like a super show. Yeah, because Ken <laughs> got the, the tattoo that. Yeah. That she almost died. She almost died in Lamar's Tester. Um, told that story on the podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a. Is that this one? Yeah. Oh, no, Sandpaper, sorry. Uh, uh, this works better. Okay. Tear, just tear off like a little piece and go go at it. Is there like a certain direction or anything to do with? Oh, uh, no. Just think of like how... It's like a pink. <laughs> yes. I'm going to paint this, so... Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you're doing something like this, just try to think of like how it would get worn out. Yeah. I 
I'm just kind of messing around with it right now. Because I'm going to pay for these for work for it. Yeah, and that's the great thing about this is because they're only a dollar. You can yeah. mess around with them on the road. If you really like a car and you just totally wreck it, you can probably go back to the store and get another one. Or buy a couple of them at one time. I'm going to try and separate this. Enough of a crack, I might be able to. Ew. Right. You know CM Punk hosted uh, Beastmaster on Netflix? It's not out yet, right? No, it is. I just watched it. Oh, shit. I, I knew he was doing that. Yeah. Was out. Yeah, Riley, <laughs> my daughter loves uh, American Ninja Warrior and Beastmaster and stuff. I gotta watch that. You know, Punk and Cabana aren't friends after the lawsuit. Really? <laughs> yeah. That sucks. I don't know how this is attached. It must be attached up to the... What is it? I've never seen one of the motorcycles. Yeah, that's just one rivet. Yeah, but there must be a... There must be interlock in there. Yeah, the way... The way a rivet works, um, like that circle you see, it's the same thing on the other side. Right. I have thought that it really, this is a fight for If we were did a live show or something, like a Tina Hunter does, yeah, this would be a bad thing. Oh. That would be cool to get to the point where. We're doing this on a state, no, not this. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You don't even know. It's still racing. <laughs> Hopefully at that point, I saw someone who was working on um, a remote control version of the game with, uh, I don't know, you, you see my RC car? Yeah. The, uh, that scale. One-tenth scale, so it's like this big. Am I going to take this black off? What's yeah. that? On the tire? Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't. It should dull it now, which would be good. That should. Sure. Definitely want the pink off. Oh, yeah, that's gonna... Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Perfect. I don't know if he has other wrestling songs. Oh, so you need like your favorite? I mean, maybe. It was a fucking revelation to me, you was a wrestling fan. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no more pain. You know what I should have done? No. So, I don't even know if I can do it. I've never, I haven't tried it before. I may have messed up too much to actually do it. Anyway, let me try this. Take the S to a brush. The glue is still on my finger, and occasionally melts itself to the plastic. I like that we're doing this. Well, I have no idea how to play the game. You kind of do. I kind of do. Plus, the game suck. <laughs> it's says like X-Wing. Yeah, it's a lot like X-Wing. So I played a lot of X-Wing. It's, um, you got your movement templates. Um, apparently it plays pretty quick. That's good. Um, like it's a fast-paced game. I think a, a normal game still takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, which is, I mean, it's a, that's a good time. 
Oh, there was a car. Yeah, I don't know if this is working or not. It always is. Never mind. Alright, so what do I want to do next? Take over the world. You keep taking my alcohol over here. I know you are. I took a couple drops. What I was trying to do is I was trying to make it look like um, like the windshield was dirty, but he used the windshield wipers to kind of wipe it away. Yeah. Uh, I saw someone do that on one, one of the cars. And I was like, that is an awesome level of detail. I don't know how he did it, but uh, yeah, it didn't, that didn't come across too well in this one. The whole bed of a truck, I just don't know what to do with it. Solar panel is on its way. Okay. <laughs> Fucking glue. All right. I want to add something to it. I just don't want to add to it. So in order to pop out these windows after the move the rivets. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of them just having holes punched in them. I think you could do that too. No, that's. <laughs> Why are you punching holes in yours? I use the razor blade and just. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little less likely to hurt myself doing that. Might as well do it on camera. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I don't know what that is. Cool. Yeah, the cool thing, the most things just wipe off. Of them. Wipe off of the glass table. Um, I'm not even gonna buy. I hate the color of these windshields. Yeah, I'm just uh, super light blue. Yeah, I would definitely take out the blue ones. Um, what should I add? I really need these rivets out. Okay, I know. I. I should have brought my toolbox home. But I was like, eh, I'm not going to make anything this weekend. This has got a clip on the bottom. Yeah. But you still got the one rivet. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. i got to figure out what I can put in here. <laughs> I, I think some of the Sons of Anarchy bikers would fit. I, you might want to wait a little longer. Oh yeah, on okay. the super glue. It's not all super quick. Um, I think this would disagree with you. If it's if it wasn't, if you were trying to like put two things together, something I learned from watching um, Tested was some baking soda. Well, I'm gonna start watching Tested now. God watch, damn it! I watch Tested. <laughs> so, I should watch more Tested. Baking soda kicks. Uh, super glue. It makes it dry almost instantly. Like quicker than it already is. Do you have baking soda over there? Yep. Because there is a kicker spray that uh, I see Adam Savage use on like everything. But. And a paper towel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. I do a little piece of food or some chips. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Alright, let's see what I can do with these. Oh, if 
I didn't like the wheels so much. That would make it cool. The wheel cover. Oh, yeah. The wheels on this are pretty cool. Um, hey, so do you want to open these army dudes? Go for it. Yeah, if you can find like weapons that are worth cutting off of them, great. You know what's really weird? What's that? When I was in kindergarten, me and my buddy used to play army men, mm -hmm. and we made up a song. I just remembered the song. <laughs> You're going to sing it for us? Army men, army men, we're just a couple of army men. Listen, I'll like buy it. Number one hit. <laughs> well, I won't put these down anywhere. That? Definitely cut that out. Oh, okay, yeah, that one's actually good. Actually good? Like, were you expecting me to find shit? No, like, I looked at them in the bag and I was like, nope, none of these are gonna work. That's why that bag's just been sitting here. I'm going to need two of them. That too. Okay. Yeah, I guess I need to work harder. <laughs> My bad. You could cut that out good enough. Damn it. <laughs> Pick that up later. I'm not showing my butt crack off of the screen. Did you get a dump? Oh. Uh, Alright. Oh, there was super glue all there before. That's not horrible though. That's a maybe. No, I listened to yesterday like 20 fucking times. What's that? Chris Benoit's and his music. Jeez. Dude, it is so intimidating. It is, it's good. <laughs> it's so good. They don't make intense music like they used to. That's very true. Oh, right there. Yeah. And I've been trying to keep my eye open for uh, like a better set of army men. I know that's a good place to get weapons. Wow, I don't know if that exists. I, I, they've got to be. There's got to be some better than those. The market for it. Yeah, you know there is a game to play with army men too, right? Oh, I'm sure. Like I think Wes sent me the instructions for it once. This guy's is not something you discovered. It's a very you thing. It is. It sounds like a you problem. One of these cars, I'm gonna figure out how to destiny the fuck out of it. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible. I don't know how, but I will. I think I'm on to something over here. Yeah. Taking these paper brads. Things I talked to you about earlier. Uh, about when you would build your little scarecrow in kindergarten. Yeah. And use them to make the, the arms and legs move around. Kindergarten's coming up a lot today. Yeah. Well, I guess they were doing crafts. <laughs> but cutting pieces off of them. To make armor for the truck. Yeah. And then once I glue these on, I will show the camera what it looks like.
can, as I paint these, glue those on like that, pretty much. Nice. Yeah. I think the solar panel's glued. Where's that glue? Should be. Mm, maybe it's not. It's still sticking to me. <laughs> I don't want to glue your scissors shut. Yeah, it really depends on what material the super glue is on and how long it takes to dry. Well, if it's on fingers, it's fucking instantly. Yeah, it is pretty quick on skin, I know that much. <coughs> Put some armored strips over the back windshield. Oh, that's cool. That's the last of my people fuel. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? We can use these guys. These spikes. On oh, the toothpicks? Yeah. <laughs> the Tesla? God damn you. Oh, the, the guns on the Rhaegar vehicle on the radar are um are toothpicks by the way i don't know if you noticed that nope um but they're toothpicks and what i did was i took some masking tape and cut real thin strips and just rolled them around cut them cut them to the size of the, of the end of the barrel i wanted use this mod podge stuff also this stuff is good, like when you're doing toothpicks and popsicle sticks. Yeah. You paint this on first, then when you go to actually paint it with color, it doesn't show the wood grain. Because like if you just paint a, a toothpick, it's still gonna look like wood, and, unless you put Mod Podge on it or something first. And I think I've got something going here too. Let's see how this. See what happens when I do this. If I can even get That's pretty cool. Tesla's kind of nice. Yeah. It's still there, but not, not all the way. Like there's got to be a better way of weathering these. I mean, they're, I mean, straight up painting, yeah. Yeah. See, I have, I suffer from that thing where, I mean, you, you, you've experienced this with me, where I send you something that everyone's like, no, that looks good, as far as like artwork for the channel and stuff goes. Yeah. I actually think it looks terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, I... I think everything I do looks bad. <laughs> yeah, and most of the shit you do looks awesome. Well, see, as, as long as someone tells me it looks awesome, I'm like, all right, cool. I usually don't believe them. Yep. It's like, a, I might think things I do are clever. Right. Like, I'm like, ha, look what I did. But I rarely ever think any of my actual final products are good. I think it's even like a little bit of silver tone. I wish I had everything I have at my shop, at work, at home, and vice versa. I'll go looking for things at work that I have here. Right. And there's so many times I wish I had stuff from work here. And I bought the fancy toothpicks on purpose. So they've got really cool detail on the end. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, they're not. But they're not just flat. They've got some uh, some shape to them.
attack. More super glue. Okay. Same stuff? Yep. Yeah. Are these dead? No. Those haven't been opened yet. Oh. But they don't last long once they get open. Oh, you gotta like punch a hole in them? Yep. I don't want to attach things in Ben weather, right? Uh, depends on what it is. But yeah, if you if you want it weathered underneath, I would weather first. Yeah. And also, kind of think of like how it would have been built, like how someone would have put it together. Like, would would it have been something they added? After the car got, you know, all screwed up. Right. Oh, my fingers are so glued. <laughs> Not something I'm used to. Should I add the guns first? Because those are going to be trickier. Than just stick shock it on this thing. Should I try and cut the rest of these hands off? Of the barrel? Yeah. Mm, that would be a little tricky. I can a little more. Oh, okay. One thing I don't know if I've mentioned yet. But it's very important to note. Um, this is not a WYSIWYG game. It's not a what you see is what you get. God damn it! <laughs> uh, so you can put whatever you want on your vehicle and not necessarily take those points or the or use the right. the cans in the game to actually buy those items you put on your car. That's also good because if you're not particularly crafty or if you're in a hurry or if you just found out about it me you can open your hot wheels and just play with it the way it came straight out of the box you know what this one that came from the guy crawling mm -hmm. i can actually wedge it in there by that little nub nice so i think i'm gonna do that and they're a little bit more uh subtle so, i'm gonna go ahead and open them for a second now that we're getting to this point you get me doing crafts? <laughs> I don't know. Because we're live streaming it? <laughs> That's part of it. I do like live streaming. Oh, Jesus. Save us. Where's that? The Army oh, Man. Army Man. He died. Army Man down. Okay, and I need to paint these guns before I attach them. These guns. I feel weird not having like a little painting station. Like anything, I feel like I want to ruin your table. All right, hold on one second. No, now. Um, is there something better? Oh, actually. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's. If you open it up, it might even be better. Give you a little more working room. I need black as well. What do you need? Oh, I have black. Don't worry. Haha. Show the camera what I just did. Camera, don't look at me. No, I'm actually I'm gonna try this baking soda thing. I've never done it before. What does it do? It's supposed to make the uh, super glue dry immediately. No, I know what glue tastes like. 
Mm, how'd that go? <laughs> not not that was good. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I don't need to mix this with water or anything, right? No, and you just need a little bit too, because a little bit of this acrylic paint. Well, it depends. It really depends on what you're doing. I want to paint these gold. Doing a base coat of black is always a good idea. Anyway. Okay. Um, I kind of want to do these gold. <laughs> gold. Told me I was gonna start with a test look. I would have been like, the hell? No. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone do a test look yet either. So. Hell yeah! I'm an innovator. Told you I'm a master crafter. I did. I might do this to the other side. Check out what I just did. Check that shit out. That's got me excited. That's cool. Yeah. Like a rocket or? Like a little turret. Turret? Okay. Boom, right there. Hey, I will try to add one to the other side. These things don't always have to be symmetrical, but I'm feeling like this one should be. <laughs> you just figure out a trick with these things. The paint kind of sticks to them. Oh. So it helps you flip them to do the other side. <laughs> I'm all about color schemes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't usually end up doing that, but I, I like seeing it done. And this might end up... Oh, it's fucking green on the bottom. This is probably end up just gold and black. Yeah. There's going to be blue in there, too. Probably. I didn't buy blue. You didn't? Black, white... Gold. No, oh, that's right. I'm doing black and gold. Okay. I mean, don't remember why I bought white. <laughs> oh, black and white. The so black and white is uh, Dead Orbit and Destiny. And black and gold are kind of my character's colors. So that's why. No, I remember. We need like a little fan just to quickly dry the paint. Something you'll learn watching Tested, one of the best tools to have is a blow dryer. Oh, I'm about to lose a lot of time. <laughs> What's that? I'm about to lose a lot of time. Uh, this fan's helping a little bit. Fuck. Why are you doing this? I'm dropping everything. Can I keep that over here? It's a wonderful noise for the camera. Yeah. This is the other problem for me with these. I want to paint them now! Try yeah. now! <laughs> if we were using like Games Workshop paint, like that stuff does dry super quick. Well, we can't afford that. <laughs> that is also super expensive. What I'm wondering with this thing, I really think that windshield is part of the clips. I guess I can glue it. Oh, it might be. Let me just glue it on there. I'm real 
tempted, real tempted, to rather than putting a sticker on this, painting around the dude and leaving the dude on there. That'd be cool. Don't know if I have that kind of skill. <laughs> yeah, it should be simple enough. I guess I can always go buy another one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think I'm going to put one on the other side. I know I'm not going to make another one. Is this about the most accurate brush you think? Oh, you know what? That one's pretty good. Try this one. Yeah, I can hang it. Let's start. See if I can fuck it up. Oh ho 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 See if I can take this. Photoshop. <laughs> oh, I wish I could Photoshop real life sometimes. It was like a uh, phone tool right there. Magnifying glass. That I can do. I have, I have uh, a set of called helping hands. Uh, two little alligator clips with a magnifying glass. And a jet sensor. Yep. Take it easy. <laughs> uh, look out. <laughs> yeah, that one just fell right off. Nailed it. You yeah, nailed it. Got to the shot. I didn't think that would be too hard. Nice. He kind of reminds me of the Fallout guy. Yeah. Basically, just don't want anyone to know he's a plumber. <laughs> don't fucking tell anybody. Which chat? I do the other side. Oh yeah. Yep, so you're not stressful done yet. enough. Mm, I fucked up a little bit. Nah, that's alright. Remember it's post apocalyptic. So many Hot Wheels that are just neon green. I don't know. Yep. 
the hell are all of them? They may as well be all of them. But I think they've helped. I think they have. Focus. Yeah, I guess this focusing probably isn't the best thing for the live stream. Absolutely unfocused. This is means we're getting things done. People should be proud of us. Especially me. Neon green shit. Well, I fucked up. I got black on one of the things. I guess I can just paint over it later. I don't know if that's going to stay well or not. Nope. So I added a, what was it, capacitor side window, little armor plate to protect the driver from that side. Let's see what we can find in here. So I'm taking this gun off of the army man. Let's see where I can move up, move it up a little bit. Oh, damn it. Jealous of my creativity. Definitely don't like that. Nice. Really nice or like <laughs> no like <laughs> good job, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's definitely gonna work.
outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that truck. I think I can still put a... So, like, could you just take a straight edge or something and do a little FTD in there? I could probably freehand it on there. Yeah. Yeah, I can give it a shot. Once it's nice and dry and... Do it red? Yeah. The other great thing about this being such a cheap game is uh, you can have as many as you want. Yeah. I, I already have a ton of cars for this game. Most aren't finished. Most are. You, you got me into Gundam before. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy Gundam. I'm still going to buy Gundams one day. Right. But man, that's. I fucked up a couple Gundams. Yeah. It's not that, a nice feeling. That's easy to do. It is not a good feeling. And they're not the cheapest. It's not super expensive until you get up to the high grade models. It's almost impossible to replace little parts. Yeah. <laughs> This would be very easy. Actually, this, you really fuck something up unless it's a thing you love. You just fuck the trash. <laughs> or just be like, yep, yeah, that's supposed to look that way. Yeah. Okay. Wait, in gun to gold or leave them black? Um, oh, gold would be pretty cool. Yeah, this I definitely feel a little better about if I mess up. Or even a little dude that was painting around. I painted his wrench and then I just kind of took my finger and wiped the paint away. Yeah. <laughs> From the thing I'm saying. Did you see the giant Rick and Morty heads at Walmart? Uh, I don't think I've seen the Rick ones. I've seen the Morty ones. Oh, well, maybe it's just Morty. Who are those four? I wouldn't buy it. I don't know. I mean, Halloween, but they're not really with the Halloween stuff. Yeah, they've been up for a while. might just look like cheese guns. <laughs> okay, I like cheese. I did see in clearance, have you seen those like kind of sort of Lego-ish sets of like 
Rick and Morty and Steven Universe and stuff they have? Yes. They have uh, some of them on clearance. The only Rick and Morty one I saw was uh, the salesman with the, the ants in his eyes. Ants in his eyes, Johnson. Is that his name? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I was bought him. That's on the clearance too. You what? I almost got that. Oh. I saw on clearance. That's like I think that's the character I would want the least because that's gross. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want that on a shelf. Yeah, that, that that's why I didn't get it. Cause I was like, where am I gonna put it? Yeah. I did find a bunch of my figures cleaning out the house. Yeah. Found a bunch of stuff. You know what paint we need? Maybe you have What's some that? kind of like shiny silver, like chrome. Shiny and chrome. Chrome paint is super hard. Yeah, super hard to get. Not even chrome, just something. I do have a silver. Even like silver glitter. Um. The best chrome I've seen. And I saw, yeah, then I saw uh, Adam Savage use it on a test there. I'm like, okay, that kind of validifies. I mean, we get it, you like testing. <laughs> um, but it's uh, Moldovo or Mal Maltovo or something like that. It's a spray paint company. <sighs> but they make this pen, and it's got, it's chrome ink, and it is it's very chrome. Hmm. It is the most chrome ink or paint I've seen. It looks like that. This is not it. Yeah. But it looks like this. Um, this is chrome tape. So if you're doing something flat, yeah, not a skull, you can do it. Or if you wanted it to look like that, you could. Um, which reminds me, I kind of want to do some with the exhaust on this. Let's see what I can come up with. You know what you can do with the back of a truck? What's that? Cut up a bunch of these army men guns and just put them in the back. Oh, just like he's like running yeah. guns? Yeah, don't matter. I don't know why this one has a back of the truck. <laughs> Such a mod, mod podge. Uh, I won't put spikes on the front of this. Yes. You can do that with the Q, with Q tips. Uh, <laughs> Guys, yeah. The super glue? Yep. Paint them first. You can put them on after. Or, yeah, put them on then paint them. Probably be easier. I'm thinking that. What you could do is do like longer and then like shorter ones. It would be like a triangle shape. Yeah. I'll fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> Spikes? Yeah. Yeah. 
Let me do it now. It's not a crazy thing to try. Listen, man, I gotta ease myself into this. <sighs> I dropped everything. I had some crates too, which would be cool for something like that. We did it, Reddit. Sticker. <laughs> well, maybe we put FTV, and if there's room, put a little speech bubble that says "fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep this a little family friendly in case we play this at a convention or something. Yeah. <laughs> I had an army man gun. And then just a little string there to make it look like he's being fed something. Oh. I don't know what. Why do I do that? You're copying all my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> something else I've been wanting to try since I've got some baking soda spilled out here on my table. Take a little bit. It's going to be this matte Mod Podge. I could probably do this with a super glue, but. You have that goof off stuff? What's that? Do you have the goof off stuff? No. That stuff works extremely well. It does. I like it a lot. But you know what works better than that on most of the things I've found? Mm. Um, or that I've been doing with it? Is uh, turtle, turtle Wax or whatever that company is. Yeah. Um, they make a sticker remover. Mm. And uh, it's a spray, like an aerosol spray. And that stuff works really well. I think this red one is going to be like a painting project. Yeah. Once we can remove the rivets. Yeah. Since I hate these windshields. That must be like one solid piece. The, the windshield? windshield? Yeah. That's like I couldn't thing. crack them out. Oh, well, I mean, you probably could. You might be left with some pieces, which might be cool. Um, also, might hurt myself. Yeah, I was going to say, you'd probably have to get pretty rough with it. You got pliers over there. Are you using them? No, I'm using them. Yeah. You got two different pliers. <laughs> one is a, uh, this is like Stippers. a wire cutter. Oh, yeah, I see the acetone that it did to the window. Yeah, which is cool. Is saying that right? Acetone? Yeah. Ac okay. What is acetate? Uh, I guess you have no idea. <laughs> Tate on acid. Oh! Uh, American Horror Story is Apocalypse. The new one? Yeah. What? Yeah. Some of the fuck. <laughs> oh, I was done watching that shit. Yeah, that the first like two seasons are really good. And then it got um, too weird. What season two? Uh, is that the asylum? Yes. Okay. So and they lost me at Coven, which I think was three. Three, I didn't finish. Um, not necessarily on purpose because I was kind of liking it. Uh, four was freak. Was four freak show? I believe so. Uh, I only, I only was really into that because it was in Florida. 
Yeah, that's right. I was hoping some pro wrestling stuff would show up. <laughs> With it being in Florida and Carnies? Yeah. yeah. Kind of surprised it didn't. I love hearing old wrestlers talk about Carnies stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the newest one I just had no interest in watching. Oh, or Tell or whatever it was. Yeah, Lady Gaga was in that one. I think she produced a lot of it. Huh. I can't, there's no way for me to like grip anything. Yeah. It's going to be much easier just to take the whole thing apart. I hope what I'm working on right now ends up working the way I think. Once I'm done with this Tesla, I gotta get going. Okay. I'm afraid to ask. What time is it? 12.37. So we fuck. Oh, we gotta go to the flea market this morning. Yeah. We don't have to, but we do have to. Because we want to. <laughs> yeah. What time, what time did everybody start leaving? Like well, noon to one, right? What time people start to leave? Yeah, I mean the vendors. Uh, yeah, give or take. What time are you wanting to leave? I'm going to leave when Jess gets home at like 7.30. So we can be back in time for her to go to work out. Well, you're going to have to call me. <laughs> you have the house number, right? Uh, I think we'll, we'll so. Sure. But yeah, we'll... Why don't you go ahead and give it to me while we're <laughs> No, it's not! <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and give me your social while we're at it? <laughs> I'm on a roll here, so I will be finishing this. I'm finishing the Tesla. For the show. Mainly because I just want to see if my plan here is going to end up working or not. What if it doesn't work as well as your solar panels? And this is something I've never tried before, so just like the solar panels. Dump super glue on my pants. It's not my good look. Why is it warm? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Before I go overboard with it. Seriously, that stuff was really warm. Super glue? Yeah. It was weird. I know there a lot of adhesives will like heat up and stuff. And That's crazy. Like chemical reactions. I wonder the science behind that shit now. <laughs> the things we take for granted. Yeah. Okay, so my truck's pretty much finished. There you go, it's a truck. 
Um, it was fucked. <laughs> I, I highly doubt you'll be able to see it in the camera. But if you see the white spots all over it, that's the baking soda and Mod Podge I put on. What I'm hoping is when I go to paint and do rust effects, that that baking soda will give it a text texture instead of just being painted like rust. And rust is kind of a tricky thing to paint until you kind of get it, which I'm not saying I, I get it. By any means. But it's, I think there, there's definitely an art to it. I don't know if you guys can see what I just did, but don't do that. What'd you do? I was holding the uh, razor blade towards myself while trying to take off a plastic thing. Don't do that. It's not smart. Okay. What the hell is buzzing around my head? I think there's a moth in here. I think so too. Over brown, over red. Now, if anyone that is watching this right now paints miniatures or anything like that, or has any knowledge of that kind of thing. They're probably losing their shit that we're sitting here using apple barrel paint. <laughs> That's pretty I'm nice. poor. Fuck off. That's pretty cool. Yeah, go and get it this. <laughs> you know this all my stuff is staying in your garage, right? <laughs> That's all lot all my things do. All my things relating to stuff like this. So okay, we'll get a box to put it on in or something. I don't want to touch my phone. Yeah. Pretty excited about this. The way this is already turning out. Yeah, dude, this is on camera Whoa, looks fucking awesome i did that <laughs> yeah see and that's why i like crafting that's my thing and you'd be like yeah i did that yeah i made that oh No, I, I didn't plan on using the primer paint tonight at least. So, uh, I posted this on the Gaslands Reddit. One of the odds that someone was like, it looks like shit! <laughs> what? What's that? Like all the other jerks. Oh. Um. I'm 
very happy with what I did tonight. It's good to feel a sense of accomplishment. I didn't even get to the two really cool ones. <laughs> That's just one layer. That's the orange layer. I think we should probably put rust on just about everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I pretty much try to. Probably like the last thing you do. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to put any more paint on it. Like, I kind of yeah. like keeping this the blue card, but I'm going to trust the shit out of this thing. I like you said trust. <laughs> trust <laughs> this truck. Um, and I am putting it on, it's, it's definitely like a dry brushing. I'm getting the, I'm getting a little bit of paint, wipe some of it off on my hand. That's what this is all about. <laughs> and a nice little dry brush. Uh, I like to think of dry brushing as like different This thing is moistures. Ugly as sin. This green and purple. That's another one I wanna. I wanna do these two I really wanna do a lot of paint jobs on. Mm-hmm. I wanna say the other these two I kinda wanna do a lot of add-ons on, but I already did a lot of add-ons with Tesla. But the Tesla was also very boring looking. That's true. There wasn't a whole lot to it. No. I'm very, very happy with the way the, the Mod Podge with the little the sprinkling of baking soda. And what did you use that with? Yeah, I just, so I, I took a toothpick and I put like a, a couple little dots of Mod Podge and like spread it around where I wanted the rust. I did it more around where like the bare metal was showing. And what does the Mod Podge do? It's like a glue. Almost, so when you sprinkle the baking soda over it, it sticks to it. And then I let that dry, and now I'm coming back and doing the uh, the dry brushing of the uh, orange over it. Okay. And I just realized I didn't put Mod Podge on the toothpick. Oh, there's one other technique I don't know if you're aware of, but I've heard it called um, liquid talent. Okay. <laughs> yes, tell me more. Um, I could use some of that. I've also heard it referred to as whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's liquid courage. Yeah, liquid courage. Uh, this is uh, when you do a wash. Um, that's where you take uh, really, really. I just use really, really watered down paint. Yeah. Um, some people use ink. Some people use um, specific washes. Um, I saw one person, I think it's the Black Magic Crafting guy, he takes water, paint, and a little bit of uh, dish uh, dishwasher like pre-rinse stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, he puts that, he mixes that all up. Basically what you're doing with that stuff is taking it and just... Kind of going over everything, and it gets in between, like, for example, right here where I'm painting, is the door, door lines. Oh, okay, lines yeah. Way. It really sinks into that and mm -hmm. really makes that stuff stand out. Painting the inside of this 
stand because the, the, the green cannot stay. <laughs> this is not a fucking Ninja Turtles van. I saw someone do a turtle thing though. Yeah, well, like, like this one. Like they check out. Did you know Ninja Turtles was a Daredevil thing? I did, yeah. That's pretty cool. We talked about it on the show the other day. And I guess I didn't realize the extent of what it is. Like, they're pretty much directly connected to Daredevil in a lot of ways. It's the same stuff that injured him, mutated them. Yeah, um, I thought it was supposed to be like a parody almost. Uh, I don't know if it's a parody or he just tied them into the Daredevil. Like officially, unofficially did it. Right. I'm definitely have to go back and add some details to this just all black truck. Yeah, but that's that's part of the fun of it is finding what details you want to bring out in it. Especially when things are, like when you buy something and it is all, like say you bought a Hot Wheels and it's like all black. But then when you go in and you start doing, because the way I kind of think of the wash thing, like the opposite is dry brushing. Like when you start going in and dry brushing stuff, yeah. it brings, that also brings out a lot of detail. Like when I'm dry brushing this rust, I'm making sure to hit the door handle. That's a raised surface, and it's going to really make that stand out. I'm even getting the green on the inside. Get out of here, green. I tell you, I'm thinking about doing a, uh, like a Mad Max post-apocalyptic themed game night. Yeah. And one of the things I was thinking, well, I'm going to make it, it's obviously going to be Gaslands heavy. Um, can we do video games? No. Um, Borderlands. Apparently, Borderlands is another game I should play. Uh, I don't know. You don't like shooters, do you? No, I don't. Borderlands is super shooter heavy. Yeah. Which is why when I'm telling you to play Destiny, I'm really just fucking with you. <laughs> but I like, like, the things I've seen from Borderlands, I've liked. Oh, like, the world is super cool. That's what I, I tend to like more than anything about Everything. That's a lot of the reason why I want you to play Destiny. Is the the world. Yeah. Because like I, I you you need to try and play Destiny. Like what was the last first person shooter you played? Halo. <laughs> I mean Destiny is Halo. Like Halo three. You played it okay? I made it through, but I made it through because I needed to know what happened. Oh well, play Destiny. <laughs> Because, like, I was really into Halo. I think I was building Master Chief Armor same at the same time. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's, that's a good thing. And you can play all of Destiny by yourself. And it is... That takes it. I don't want to say it's easy, but it's definitely... Like, it's challenging in a good way. Right. And that's that's okay. Like, the Mad Max game I'm playing right now, like, I'm cool with, like, how challenging it is. Like, I don't need any more. Yeah. Like, I hate dying in a game because I hate redoing things. Yeah, 
This is painted completely black in the middle. No more purple, no more green. Hot Wheels, please fuck off with all that color scheme. <laughs> Good lord. That's one entirely really black. We'll go ahead and put some, some gold and some white in there. When, uh, I know a lot of people that this is their, this tends to be their favorite part. Is so, like the weathering. Okay. Yeah, I think my favorite part is the painting. Because I like to think of like where, why things would be the way they are. And why. Yeah, you said that. I'm still like, I mean, I guess, well, I guess it's the sand and the wind would go this way. I don't know, maybe once I start doing more, like, storytelling. Yeah. S storytelling with beer stuff. That's something that Defunct Land YouTube series, he talks a lot about the storytelling, the very subtle storytelling that Disney does. Yeah. That's, I like that kind of stuff. That's, uh, going back to Destiny. Uh, the Destiny vanilla campaign of the two DLCs were very cutscene heavy. And this new expansion, they're, they're saying, okay, we're going to do a lot more storytelling in the world. So that's what, really, I think that's what a lot of Destiny 1 was. And people just don't like all these cutscenes. That's what I like about the Mad Max game. I, I do like the cutscenes. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think it's cool. Like I, like, I really like in-world storytelling. Uh, I forget what game it is. Uh, I think it's old. Um, I think it came out a very long time ago, actually. Um, and I don't know the name of it, but it, apparently a lot of people got mad at the game because one of the like difficulty levels was literally called Tell Me a Story. Oh, Deus Ex. And, uh, I would love if every game had that. You should play Deus Ex, then. It's, uh, a cyberpunk kind of world. I don't need to be pulled into any more punk things. <laughs> I've done Steam This punk. one you couldn't get pulled into because it's too expensive. <laughs> it's all cybernetics and shit. I'd be surprised. I think, actually, Cyberpunk 2077 or whatever... Project, CD Projekt Red's next game. I think they'll probably have a tell me a story mode. I love that stuff. Yeah, because I would rather, I don't, I'm not playing it for the challenge. I'm, yeah. If I'm playing a game, it's because I want to know what's going on. I think they're, that happens sometimes with games. People, you know, the games are extremely hard and the developers have to kind of scale it back a little bit for some people. Yeah. And then the other people will get mad. Like, well, it's not ruining it for you. Yeah, if you don't like it, that that mode, don't play it. Right. I guess the I guess if someone's like, yeah, I beat you know whatever game it is, it's, but if you beat it on that mode, it's like mm, no, you didn't. Which I mean, maybe I get Experience it. Experience the game. But like the Fallout games, I just want to know what happens. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to play, but so that's why I've been listening to the. Well, that the Fallout is a good example of storytelling in the world where uh, you go somewhere and it's like what the fuck happened here <laughs> and you're just kind of I mean, you're almost making up the story in your head you're finding little diaries telling you know what happened there and I think call out three or four you come across like a cannibal like a family of cannibals or something huh. and you're like no oh, you seem like nice people and then it turns out the cannibals <laughs> like, and you're not there's a uh which like, I, I really like in world storytelling. Like there's one area you walk in and it's like a like an arena type thing and the dude's like pitting people against each other and he's like, oh, how you doing? Like, I love that shit. Like, what is wrong with you? Uh which which game is it? Have you played them all? Yes. Which game is it has the um the rednecks, the hillbillies? The hillbillies. Uh, for, uh, I think they're in Maryland. Uh, Maryland is is okay. Fault three is DC. Mm. New Vegas is Vegas. Right. 
And Fallout 4 is Boston. It might be that one. Yeah. So what, like, what, <clears throat> well, DC's in Maryland. Yeah, so. Yeah, that would be free. What rednecks, though? It's, um, basically, I'm asking which one has the, uh, the Lovecraft stuff. Oh, I think that's mainly three. The, the Dunwich. Um, yeah, I think that's three. There's not a lot of it, a lot of it in there, though. The, it sounded like the Dunwich family was a big deal. I don't know. See, that's the problem. Not the problem. That's a thing with those games is there's so much to do. Uh, it seems like I'm going through and I'm listening to these stories that are just telling and you're me. You're getting like two percent of the game. Yeah. If you listen to all those stories, that's like two percent of the world. And, and that already is like. So much. I'm like, there's yeah. so much going on here. Like, I didn't know there were aliens. Yeah. <laughs> aliens and a little bit. Um the 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 mountain big empty movie. Um I was like, man, there's a lot. A lot of weird stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. And there's actually a perk you can get, at least in Fallout 3 and I think New Vegas, that's basically like, make the game even weirder. You can get attacked by the like grannies with uh, uh, rolling pins and the alien encounter and <laughs> shit like that. Alright. But, so, do you play as a different person in each game? Yeah. Okay. Fallout 3, you're the vault dweller. Okay. In Vegas, you're the courier, I believe. Ah, Okay. Or I don't know what they call your character. Huh, I don't know. Yeah, you're a different person, yeah, because they're they're different time. Like there's a Fallout timeline right. of things that happen. Like Fallout 76, the online one, we know that there should not be any super mutants because the events of Fallout, I don't know if it's one or two, but the antagonist of that game uh, creates the forced evolutionary virus, and he creates super mutants. So that happens after Fallout 76. So oh, we're not going to have any super mutants in that game. There shouldn't. And also it happened in, you know, a specific part of the war or the country, and I don't know what, like, I don't know what's up with the rest of the world that I would love to find out, too. Yeah. Maybe we will I, someday. Part of what I was listening to said that I guess at one point you find someone who has a funny accent and say they're from another. Right. But there's definitely elements of the rest of the world. Like you can find like katanas and a Chinese sword and stuff like that. Yeah, because I guess it was America and China that were in the big war. Right. That created the fallout. Yep. I'm taking it up. Alright, so I never, if anyone's still watching <laughs> at this point, I don't know how long we've been going on for, but um, the reason I've been listening to the Fallout lore stuff and all that is because after finding Gaslands, I looked into post-apocalyptic festivals, so I wanted to do some costuming. Now that you need a reason to do it. And then I didn't really want to look at LARPs, but I came across one that's basically in our town. It's the next big town over. Yeah. And uh, I was like, well, I should look into this. That's right. I should shop around. Oh, yeah, because you want to participate. I want to snipe so bad. Do I need some bullets? I know airsoft guns are pretty fair. You can get them cheap. I know you can get them very expensive too. Oh, yes, please. That's cool. 
Oh man, thirty-seven bucks. Where's that from? eBay. Nice. And some of these I do wonder like how shitty they are. Yeah. Uh, I have had some shitty ones. Uh, I've had a decent one. Uh, These look at all for definitely paint. Oh, oh yeah, I'm done. Close up pocket. Look for your fuck up. Uh, you probably haven't, but you should probably should uh, look up nuclear snail. Okay. Uh, once you start getting ready to do your, your like costume stuff, um, you got one hell of an accent. Yeah, you don't like accents. No, it's just uh, British accents I don't like. He's got a, he's from Germany. Actually, I think he's Russian, but he lives in Germany. That's me. I like funky looking rifles. Me too, because I want something that doesn't necessarily look modern. If I do get a modern rifle, it's probably going to be an AK-47. Just from what I, my super, super limited um, gun knowledge. Can't those, like, withstand, like, nuclear war and survive? Or are they super finicky? I thought they were what? super resilient. AK-47s. Oh, uh, they're, they're, yeah, they're extremely tough. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I would go with something like that. Something that probably would survive. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought you were saying survive us going out there, and I'm like, we're not afraid of Wiki I see what you're saying, like, in the storyline wise. Yeah. Oh, this fucker thinks the airsoft game can be just as tough for a <laughs> What if you could use some of these guys as, like, dresses, like, uh, terrain? Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess now they're, they're the same size as the car. Yeah. Never mind. Alright, well, I'm pretty much out. Is that a Datsun? Yeah. <laughs> an actual Datsun. So, if you want to cut off the stream, we'll be back soon. Yeah, let me finish cutting. The, the no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Future Gamers Podcast on this channel. Tune in for that. Where Destiny Talk. <laughs> Get this little guy here. This little guy of mine. I don't actually know what this part of the car is called. What? It's like where the windshield wiper is. Windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like that that black plastic piece down the bottom of your windshield. Uh, I don't think it's an air intake. Nope, that's under the hood. I know that one. I don't know much about cars either. Well, I don't know shit. You don't know shit about shit. <laughs> Find that out quickly. What do I know about it? Blinds. Yeah, I can fix blinds like nobody's <laughs> business. I can fix computers like nobody's business. I used to be able to do that. My business. I can't do it now. <laughs> All right. Let me show what I've got so far. I'm going to go ahead and finish it up in a little bit. Let me just show that off. Pretty excited about this. Are you going to paint the uh, the brad or whatever? Um, Something. Or I'm not sure what. Maybe just rough it out so it's not as shiny. Yeah, I, I might put some sort of insignia on it. To me, maybe just because I know. Because you know it's a brad. it's a brad. Yeah. Um, Can you maybe even clip off the top of it? Is that perfectly round? Um, maybe something. I don't know. We'll I just might throw that out there. I might do like an insignia in the middle, and maybe some like silver dots around the outside to make it look like it's bolted on. Okay, but yeah, it does need something. And then also, or I might just paint it black like the gun. Yeah, and I'll leave the the straps of it uh, metallic. But all right, that's gonna do it for us. Exactly, I'm fucking fun. After this 18 hour stream. <laughs> Good stream. Uh, we should do this more often. Yes.
There we go. And uh, we're done.